Today, in this jungle, I'm gonna show you all of the crazy and intense fungus growing ants or leaf cutter ants that you can find out here in this dense jungle. Here's an apterostigma worker, these super primitive fungus growers that have their fungus gardens out in the open. Super weird looking and way bigger than I expected. They're kind of huge. So we found the first apterostigma nest right on the underside of a log. This stuff is so cool. This super, super primitive fungus and it's it's so humid here, like it's it's painfully humid. But it means that these guys don't even need to bother living underground. It's so humid that the fungus can just exist out here in the open. It's so crazy. So right here under a rock we have what I'm pretty sure is just a huge Siphomyrmex colony. Yeah, definitely Siphomyrmex. But quite the impressive fungus garden. And of course these are actually a fungus growing Siphomyrmex, not the yeast like most of the species in the US are. Check out these little fungus growers. This is something new. Don't know, I don't even know what genus it is, but I preserved their fungus garden perfectly. Look at that. This right here, this white lump on this tree, is the veil of an Apterostigma cholerae colony. And you can see there's a worker in that little entrance right there. But if you go ahead and tear, just uh, open it up a little bit, and you can see the whole colony inside of there. And that veil is made of fungus to protect the fungus that's inside. It's really cool stuff. And of course those ants are super cool being giant and primitive fungus growers. This atta, whatever it is, I... It's either Cephalodes or... Well, Sextens, Columbica, and Cephalodes are the only species here. Superficially, this really looks like Cephalodes to me but I don't really, really know how to differentiate them. Still, it's, they're gorgeous. They're that orange and super, super shiny. These are by far the prettiest out of that I've ever seen. So super cool. There's a bunch down here. Very, very pretty. Just found this Acromyrmex worker foraging. You can tell it's Acromyrmex because they're on the pronotum. There are three sets of spines where Atta will only have two. And uh, the way, I mean, you could really easily mistake these for Atta because of how long legged they are. Unlike our Acromyrmex versicolor in Arizona, these guys have really long legs so that they can climb up trees to cut leaves a lot more easily. Acromyrmex versicolor out in the desert only go after like bushes and fallen plant matter. So they've got really short, stubby legs since they don't really need to climb at all. But these guys have long legs just like uh, all Atta species do. Uh, so the, the best way to look at them, or to tell if it's Acromyrmex, is to look at that thorax. And the, specifically that pronotum with the three sets of spines. Because they are very spiky. Super cool, this is a new, new fungus growing genus for the area. Well, for me at least. We've seen a lot, but we have not seen Acromyrmex yet. All these things still. Right here we've got a founding Apterostigma queen. Just has a little tiny fungus veil, fungus garden. And she's in there. A little hard to get the lighting in there to see her. But you can probably see that bigger, more developed thorax. Got a cute little Siphomermex colony here. Pretty, pretty good sized fungus garden. Of course, all the workers are kind of down in there. Oh, there's one. There they are, they're coming out. Pretty cute little things. Not bad at all. Here we've got another nest of a fungus grower, Sirico Mermex. 
guys are really actually very nice looking. They're velvety and have some nice shiny hairs. I'd say that these are probably most similar to the United States' Trekkie Murmex, but of course there are differences. There's also, if we zoom in, some of these guys bumming around the nest entrance. Not sure exactly what they are. But, yeah, so it turns out these beautiful long legged Siphomermax grow yeast. What a disappointment. That's so sad. If they would have just grown mycelium, they'd actually be like the best Siphomermax. Because look at them. And they're big too. Like they're way bigger than the North American or the uh, United States Siphos. Because we're technically still in North America. But, um,. And they got those beautiful long legs. They're that nice yellow color. And they grow this this garbage. Bless. That's our first live Atta Queen. That's certainly something. Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen one of these with wings. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really dope. There's a founding Acromorex Queen here carrying a leaf. So, I mean, clearly this isn't a newly mated queen. She's probably got a fungus garden started already. But still very cool. Everything's flying because it didn't rain. I bet, yeah. Okay, ready? These little guys doing some nest construction. Not really sure who they are. They're little, but they look like a normal fungus grower, so... Not really sure who we're looking at, but check this out. That's our first DLA Atta. Super exciting stuff. It's been so long since I've seen Atta Queens out like this. Very, very cool. Yeah, maybe this one actually like better Atta. We're going to be here for 30 minutes. No, she came awake quicker this time. Oh, she did. So this is pretty crazy. You can see there's a little ball of fungus right there, and a different little ball of fungus hanging right here. Those are two different Acromermix founding chambers, right next to each other, under the same rock. Now we still have one of the Acromermix queens back in there. We're gonna try and pull her out so you can see her. The other one, unfortunately, got away into the leaf litter. But that's crazy. Two acro founding chambers, just like that. Wow. And there's that queen, got her out like that. Of course, we're gonna go put her back in her chamber and put the rock back, but just wanted to show her to you guys. We have some awesome out of here. Getting some actual cutting action. Cutting these here ground plants. And then of course they have this lovely trail through the underbrush, carrying leaves back to wherever their nest is. Here comes a bunch more with plant matter. So I found their foraging entrance, and down here I've kind of disturbed them a little bit, so they've dropped some pieces, but tons of workers coming up here. All the various trunk trails converging here. And just tons of, tons of ants carrying leaves. So nice. I just found this massive yeast growing Siphomermex colony. So this is about half of the colony. The other half and most of the fungus or yeast is down in here. See those very large yeast balls. Despite not really liking the yeast growing Siphomermax, that's pretty cool. 
You must admit. Oh my gosh, that worker's freaking out. Cool. Alrighty folks, that's all I have to show you guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed it so much. I love seeing all of these amazing fungus growers in the wild, including some genera that I had never even heard of, like Myrmacocrypta. That surprised me, I thought I knew everything about fungus growers. So yeah, it was lovely seeing everything. Apterostigma were amazing, Atta queens, Acromermex queens. It was so good, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed filming it. Thank you so much for watching.